We began this broadcast with a rare Christmas Eve spacewalk, and we end with a look back at another mission, one that brought the world together during a troubled time. Here's Dean Reynolds. It had been a terrible year on Earth. With military conflicts, riots in the streets, and political assassinations. And then, over Christmas 1968, we have liftoff. Three humans circled the moon for the very first time and briefly connected the people of this planet. This is it, huh? That's it. That's where I sat. Americans Jim Lovell, Frank Borman, and William Anders were the astronauts aboard Apollo 8, a scouting mission for the lunar landing the next year. It's estimated that a quarter of the Earth's population heard them read from the book of Genesis that Christmas Eve. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In addition to the words, though, it was the sight they beheld and the photograph they captured that resonate to this day. Listen to Anders describe what came to be known as Earthrise. Oh my God, look at that picture over there. There's the earth coming up. Wow, is that pretty? Anders was in charge of the photography, but had to wait as Lovell searched for the right film, while the Earth slowly left the frame. Seconds later, Lovell saw it from his vantage point in the spacecraft. Hey, I got it right here. Bill, I got it framed. It's very clear right here. Wait a minute, let me just get the right setting here. Just calm, down. calm down, Lovell. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. You sure you got it now? He got him. He said, Bill, you did take the picture. But I was directing the photography. I told you the setting of the camera and how to pose. <laughs> and of course, it just went viral. I mean, you know, everybody published it. It went viral before there was going viral. Yeah, that's right, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Lovell told us he has tried ever since to convey what the astronauts felt as they watched their world from afar that Christmas Eve. It's only when you get away from it. 240,000 miles away that you really understand, you really understand how insignificant we all are. And he said, how fortunate. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.